want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Dalba. This spray serum is a bestseller across the world, having sold over 27 million bottles globally, and for a good reason. It is known for its formula and its beautiful fresh scent. The formula is full of antioxidants and is amazing for fine lines and wrinkles. The first spray serum will be on sale on Amazon Prime Day, so make sure to check out this sale and use my link. So whenever I need to pick me up, I will always rely on their first spray serum. The reviews and the sales really just speak to how amazing the product is. I've been starting to have decaffeinated tea in the morning. I love lemon and honey. And starting my day off with this instead of coffee, I feel like my stomach feels better and I'm not as anxious starting off with tea in the morning. I won't eat breakfast until around 10 or 11, so it's kind of like a brunch. I just like to enjoy my tea in the morning and give my body a second to digest from the night before, and then get into my lunch. Pop-Up Bagels invited me over to their store in Westport and I picked up some spreads and bagel and they are the best bagels I've ever had, so I grabbed some of these. Okay, so the first thing that I'm making, I actually got this in Italy. I ordered avocado toast and this is what came. The best avocado toast I've ever had, but it's really not avocado toast. I feel like it would also be really good on a bagel. So since I have those bagels, I'm just gonna try making them both for fun. I feel like it would be really, really good on the bagel. I'm just gonna quickly toast these. While that is toasting, I'm going to make the lettuce portion of this. It's really not much lettuce on top. Cut a lemon, do some lemon olive oil, and then salt and pepper. And then I think I'm gonna put some everything but the bagel seasoning in it that's pretty much what it was in italy okay my camera just dropped and broke so we're gonna be using my other camera so now i'm just gonna put this hummus on the toast this is a grainier hummus this is freshly made at a market near me I like it to be a little bit grainier. That's just my preference. I think it has better texture. Oh, and I'm also gonna make it on the bagel. Okay, then I'm just gonna take a little bit of avocado. I don't want too much avocado on it, and this is honestly how they did it in Italy, which I really liked. So yeah, that much is good. And then I'm just gonna take this dressed lettuce and put it on top of the toast just like that and then i'm just going to put this everything but the bagel seasoning on top and that's it i'm just going to eat it right on this cutting board pairing carbs with proteins and fats and some vegetables keeps me fuller more energized throughout the day and just feeling better so i'm not scared of carbs i just am always pairing them with the right thing and I'm using them as like a fuel for my day and feeling full. Oh, it's so good. Okay, I have to try a bite of the bagel one. This is by far one of my favorite lunches. I thought it was a breakfast. <laughs> it's brunch. <laughs> Can you see me? Mm-hmm. It's a lighting pad. Okay, guys. <laughs> Since I've broken my camera, I've acquired a videographer. Say hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> I've never done this before where someone's like following me. <laughs> this is so silly. Oh, wait, also, I'm bringing my Dairy Boy tote available on dairyboy.com to go to the farmer's market. Oh, I'm not good at this. I have to do that smoother. Wait. Okay, let's go. <laughs> wow, I fucked it up again. <laughs> Okay guys, gonna do a little haul from the farm stand. So I got these peppers, got some tomatoes, got some cucumbers. You really won't find cucumbers like this 
um, in the supermarket. So I always love getting cucumbers, got some squash, and then I got these green beans that I'm going to pickle. And then I got some fresh eggs. Okay, I'm just gonna put these in this big jar that I have. This is equal parts white distilled vinegar and water. And then I'm just gonna add some kosher salt. Kinda just do everything, like eyeballing it. And then some garlic powder. For the green beans, I like them pretty tart and garlicky. So pretty simple. I'm not even gonna add any dill or any fresh herbs. I'm gonna let this boil and then pour it over the green beans. Okay, closed this up. I usually just wash it and then dry it. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge. I wanted to add a segment in this video talking a little bit about my nutrition and diet and how it's evolved. I get asked a lot about how I maintain my weight, how I eat, what I eat while maintaining my weight. I had a reflection recently and I was able to reflect on why I think my relationship has changed with food since moving to Connecticut and leaving the city. And I guess it did kind of take me a full year to fully reflect on this. I knew that my relationship with food had gotten better because I'm cooking more, because I'm getting more fresh produce. I know I have a healthier relationship with food, but I never really realized that it was. Probably also had to do with my environment. I just feel like I'm a much less emotional eater. I get a lot of questions about weight, how I've lost weight, or how I'm able to eat bread and pasta and still maintain the weight that I'm at. And for me, it's more about enjoying all of the things in life in moderation. Another thing that I really like to do, which you'll see in this video, is I don't really snack or have much sugary treats throughout the day, but I'll always treat myself to dessert. I really love to bake. I love making treats. I don't want to use words that might seem like toxic, but the thing that I thought of was like rewarding myself after a long day of like hard work. It's not rewarding myself for my diet, just rewarding myself for my day with like a comforting baked thing, which is like I make cookies a lot, I make muffins a lot. So I kind of save that sweet treat until the end of the day. I love ending the day with like a treat. Um, I definitely have a sweet tooth, but that doesn't mean that I don't have Starbucks sweet drinks or like you know, I'm not like super disciplined about it, but that's normally what my weeks look like. But yeah, everything in moderation, that's much easier said than done. I know that that took me 25 years to learn, but I eat everything, but I eat everything in moderation. So I'm definitely very aware of my portion sizes because at the end of the day, I feel like there are so many diets and there are so many content creators that are sharing different tips and tricks and different diets and it's really not a one size fits all thing and you really have to listen to your body and kind of intuitively eat. But I also think that people are so scared to say and talk about, especially influencers, because they're worried about the backlash coming out and saying, I really do believe that we burn a certain amount of calories a day. Our body, everyone's body's different. And if you consume more than you're burning, you will gain weight. I don't count calories, but I definitely am aware of what I'm consuming. It's just science, really, at the end of the day, if you are consuming more than you're burning, you're going to be gaining weight. Sometimes you wanna gain that weight and sometimes you don't. So just being aware and conscious of that, I would focus more on intuitively eating that rather than following trendy diets and crazy things and unhealthy diets that will lead you to binging. I think just like set yourself up for success. And then I'm just getting started on dinner. I know that it's gonna be a soup, but I'm not sure what type of soup yet, so I need to go talk to the girls and see what they want, but we've been on a very big soup kick recently. So, I'm just gonna get this started and let it simmer. I've talked about it before, but this is by far my favorite chicken broth seasoning. I'm almost out of it. This is what I use for a lot of my broth bases. Sometimes I'll mix this with water and even some bone broth, but this is what I'm using tonight. Okay, I put this chicken thigh from Butcher Box that was frozen in the soup, and I'm just gonna let this simmer. Okay, just shredded the chicken. I'm gonna add this back to the soup. I'm going to chop some green onions to put in the soup now, and then before I serve it, I'll probably garnish it with some more. I just added some shiitake mushrooms. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. Mix 
this. Now I'm going to add these rice noodles. I forgot to mention I also added a little bit of miso paste to this. I'm going to add a few of these just to add some spice to the soup, but not make it super spicy, just like warm and add some flavor. So how I usually serve this is I get my noodles and the chicken and, and the veggies that I want, and then I just take the broth. And I pour it over because I'm a big noodle person. And this is it. If you know, you know. I'm grating some of the zucchini that I got today from the farmer's market. I want to try putting some zucchini in two of the muffins. I think it would be really good and add texture. That works. <laughs>